All right, everybody, welcome back to part two of the tutorial series where we are going to be going over character creation. Whether you are a new or returning player, this is going to help guide you through the rest of the game and get you started on your journey in Path of Exile. If you are new and you have not done so yet, you must create an account right here. Obviously, my account has been a lot been out and along for a very long time so we are just going to dive right on into the actual character screen let's log in and we are going to click the magic create button right here this basically allows us to create a character within the game so to break down the three modes now standard is basically all of the previous leagues and content and all your league stuff merged into one giant just generic universal um, standard gameplay type so you can basically use all your previous characters you made throughout history in this game along with all the gear you found and it basically has a more wider variety trading pool too obviously there are multiple different modes in this game if you want to play hardcore Basically, if your character is killed in Hardcore, it becomes a standard character. This only applies in Crucible and Hard Crucible Leagues. These are chain, ever-changing league names, I should say. Right now, it's Crucible, but next week, it will be the new Trial of Ancestry or whatever it is coming up. These change every two and a half to four and a half months, sometimes six months based on GGG's progression. On actually adding new content but we will dive more into that in a future video right now there is also the option for solo self-bound this is in every mode of the game this basically disables tr trade disables player party um, creations and playthrough type styles but it also gives you an edge or I should say either an edge or a nerf depending on how you like playing because this mode basically means the only type of gear you can find and use are, is going to be stuff that you find on the, on the actual maps or loot drop pools or gear you actually craft yourself. There is no trading, so basically what you find and what you make is how you progress throughout the game. So it definitely gives you an edge. Ruthless, I do not play, so I am not even going to get into this, but you guys can definitely check out the uh, the comments and the uh, notes and everything for pathofexile.com Ruthless. Now, I am going to heavily focus on what I play throughout this game is going to be the League Mechanics. Crucible, which is always going to be like the center option you want to choose if you want to play in the League. It will tell you what League name it is right here. Now, I play default standard. I do not play solo self-found. I do not play hardcore. I do not play ruthless. I play generic open party trade interactions. I like playing with other people. I like trading in the game. I like actually, I do end up crafting some of my own stuff, but I do like the interaction with other people. So if you want to play just generic, click the center button right here and then click OK. Now, we are into the heart and soul of what this game is. Choosing your very first character, whether you are a returning player or you are a brand new newbie. Yes, I'm actually going to use the word newbie quite a bit, but it's okay. It's okay. This game is complex, but it's not as bad as people make it sound once you understand the generic concepts of it. There are basically seven character, main character classes you can choose each with three different alt ascendancies. We will get more into the ascendancies a little bit later on in the game, but for right now, I'm gonna go over my top three picks for basically new player starts and newbie friendly characters that you can actually build to get you into middle, like beginning and middle end game. And basically a good strong starting tune to actually get you built up make you some money make you some currency get you some gear so you can actually start focusing on building a very overpowered character to carry you through to the very end game which you will probably invest multiple hundreds of divines on at one point or another divines are the raw currency for trading for gear outside of like chaos orbs but we will discuss that further on in now 
number one character pick to start for a league is always going to be a Templar. Templars are probably one of the easiest early starting tunes in game because you can basically do a totem setup which is sort of like a summoner but instead of doing minions that run around and kind of have like an AI of their own they do which you don't control you can drop totems in game up to five or six of them depending on your gear your talent point setups and everything and these totems can get very overpowered if you do it right a Templar totem setup can actually carry you to very end game and do like uber bossing and all the other stuff but like every character in this game you need to invest a shit ton of currency so it's like it templar is a very good league starter because totems can carry you through to at least maps and t10 with very little gear investment so highly recommend a templar in a totem tune to start if you are very new to the game and you just want to try it out kind of get to the end game a little bit and see if you actually like it with very little investment second character now i love for early league starts new players it's very friendly is your good old-fashioned witch you can either play her as a spellcaster with some very op spells which can carry you through to probably maps and maybe like i said about t10 with very little investment but the real reason I like the witch for early game and new player starts is because she can become a summoner. Minions are incredibly overpowered early game once you get them ramped up. There are little tricks and quirks you have to do on a witch until you can get to certain minions. But once you get up to that certain minion point, summoners can absolutely steamroll straight through up to t12 maps with very little investment once you get about t12 to t16 range you're gonna have to start dropping some currency on her to upgrade her gear or if you get really lucky and get a really good drop that could make or break your build and push you straight through to t16s with very little investment so it's a little bit of an rng type thing for finding gear for a summoner early on but did they're very low investment characters that can push you at least into maps minimum and if you're lucky you can actually halfway progress through maps with a basic summoner and start making a shit ton of currency and start doing some of the mechanics now the last character i'm going to go over that i like starting as is a ranger a ranger is basically your archer there are three different ascendancies that can focus on archery you can do a dot poison build. You can do so many different things with a ranger. You can do totems if you want to, but that does take some time to progress into it. But rangers are very versatile early game and early league because it takes a little bit of gear. I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna need a good bow. You're gonna need to get a good quiver, but you're gonna probably end up finding that as you're leveling. But they're probably out of the three classes I have discussed so far, Ranger is one of those ones that is, it's RNG at the very beginning of the league and the starting, especially if you're new, if you get what you need to keep progressing on. Because as you scale through the acts, by the time you're in Act 7 and 8, the Ranger DPS does tend to kind of uh, taper off. And you got to constantly keep pushing that character harder and harder to get that damage you need to keep pushing where... A totem tune and a summoner tune kind of just progress naturally as you go. And with that being said, I would either stick with a Templar or a Witch as your very first tune if you guys are new to this game. And then we are going to briefly hover over the last remaining classes, but we're not going to go too much in depth in them right now until we actually progress throughout this tutorial series a little more. And I will kind of do a one-on-one -on -one character review and what their strong points are and their down points are. So next we have the Shadow. This is basically your high DPS assassin. He is a poison master. He's a crit master. He can basically put a skill on and if you got him geared enough, he will mess you up. All right, let's get into the Marauder. This is your melee beast character. This is the Barbarian. This is the Guts. 
he will come up and he will pummel you. He loves his melee abilities. He can be a cyclone master if you want to do whirly twirlies. I mean, the, the sky is the limit to what you can do with the Marauder. Very beefy, very good hit point pool early game. Focuses heavily on strength and melee abilities early game, but if you really want to take him to the uh, moon and back, you can make a Barbarian, a Marauder, a very good end game character clearer. Now, Scion, this is one of the more unique classes for this game. A Scion is basically a generic character that can use all six of the other characters' ascendancy abilities once you start hitting her ascendancies. She can path any which way you want to make her on the tree, so she is like that utility multiplex character. Makes a decent league starter, but unless you know what you're doing on the skill tree already, I would probably stay away from a Scion early game while you're learning this game because she is very complex. And the last but not least is the melee duelist. This thing is universal. You can make him an archer. You can make him a tank. You can make him a two swordsman beast. He can focus on melee. He can focus on range attacks. He is a bleed master if you want to basically go a dot build for the most part. But that is a, another video and another story. So let's focus on what we're going to be doing for this tutorial series. I am going to make a generic witch for you guys that is going to be a summoner. So we are going to name this baby Kesti Practice. <laughs> All right, let's get into the game, guys. And from here on out, we'll start the part three tutorial video with tips and basically how you start the early game and to start progressing through this. So stick around and I will see you guys at the next video.